Social Security System was created as a social insurance program for Filipino workers. It is mandated by RA 8282 or the Social Security Law to promote social justice and provide social meaningful protection to members and to their families against the hazards of disability, sickness, maternity, old age, death, and other contingencies resulting in loss of income or financial burden. Ako po si Romilo Labiano Baran o Plas Piñas, 62 years old. Isang voluntary member, nakapaghulog ako ng 120 months as provided by the SSS. Last 2014, ako po'y nakatanggap ng aking voluntary pension sa halagang 21,000 sana. Pero ang lahat ng ito ay nakarating po sa akin ay 4,300 pesos. Pero bago po yan, ako po ay nakapaghulog ng aking contribution through penalty condonation program last 2012. Yung pala, napag-alaman ko na ang aking hinulog ay hindi na i-post noong mga taong yun. Unfortunately, even if the member does his duties and responsibilities, for some, their rights and their right to receive their benefits from SSS are not met. Yung nga hinaasam po namin mag-asawa, gawa nung wala kami pag-maintenance ng gamot, 17,000, malaki na po yun. Sa amin, mahihirap. What is the normal time for SSS to review and or approve applications for loans and benefits? What should SSS members do if their application for loans and benefits is not approved? Where can these members go to file a complaint for their problems with SSS? Good evening. You are watching Legal Help Desk on 9TV. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. And I'm attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we'll discuss your legal rights with regards to Social Security System or SSS. What you need to know about applying for loans and claiming your benefits. And what you need to do should problems occur with your SSS account. Our guest for tonight is attorney Dorenda Dasmariñas, attorney 3, Corporate Legal Department of SSS. Good evening, Attorney Dory. Good evening, Ma'am. Attorney Dory. Uh, now, this is an MRT. I call it MRT. Most requested topic. Because everyone is covered is by asking SSS. About this, yes. And I think here we see Mr. Ronilo Baran, uh, I think who also shares the same experience with some Filipinos. Wherein nagbibigay naman siya, nagbabayad siya, but then I suppose something went wrong with the system and he's unable to claim his benefits. What would you advise him to do we'll start para, off with, that, yeah. with the case study. Mm -hmm. Yung with the case study with si Danilo nga. Uh, yeah, and hopefully been, others who are experiencing yeah. the same problem can find a speedy way or expedited way to right. solve it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand that uh, he is already a retired pen uh, pensioner no? or he is uh, qualified to become a retired pensioner because mm -hmm. as he said, uh, he had contributed 120 contributions. Mm -hmm. When you apply with SSS, you are uh, asked whether to receive a lump sum amount on the first 18 months of your pension. Mm -hmm. So probably, uh, he opted for 18 months advanced pension and he was expecting for 21,000 pesos as advanced pension. But uh, as I understand, he only received uh, 4,000. 4, yeah. So maybe uh, he had a loan with SSS which has to be deducted from his uh, mm. lump sum benefit. Okay. But according to him, uh, he went to SSS, he applied for condonation, condonation, condonation of, of, pe of penalty. Of penalty. Of penalty. Mm. So I do not know if uh, he, the, the application that he applied uh, was really approved mm -hmm. because there are also cases wherein uh, they thought that they were already uh, approved, but uh, hindi naman pala. Yeah, so, Attorney Dory, in this case, what's the best way to do, uh, to ask, won't the SSS, as soon as they give, could I see, uh, Mr. Ranilo, as soon as ibigay sa 4,000 pesos, does, not, does it not include uh, a document that already lists basically his credit balance and the debits made and his, for instance, penalties, if any, uh, there is. There is a letter uh, attached to the 
uh, actually it's not uh, attached but actually a letter informing them that their application has already been approved and that they are going to receive so much amount from from this bank where he opened an account so and according to him uh, in the case that uh, this was not he paid but this was not uh, credited uh, siguro uh, we will help na lang uh, Mr. Uh, Danilo, no? Danilo Baran. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Mr. Danilo Baran, your number is here with us. Uh, we will verify uh, with our record because I think we really have to dig mm. into the record you of have, the SSS. Have, uh, each case is different, I would imagine. Yeah, yes. Now, yeah. we started with a case study, but I think we should start off, we'll take a step back and, and, and ask, no, um, that the social security system, as the name implies, it provides security, obviously, no, uh, and the first benefit there is retirement. But there are there are a host of benefits that our our televiewers can mm -hmm. can avail of. So let's start off. What are the benefits yeah, that okay. as a, maybe quickly? Uh, yeah. There's a lot, yeah, but uh, yeah. bullet points. Okay, we have the sickness benefit. Sickness benefit, so, all right. If the member uh, is absent from his work due to sickness or injury mm -hmm. uh, for at least four days, mm -hmm. he is entitled to sickness benefit, provided that he has no more uh, leave credits from the, oh. from the office. So for instance, if you have, mm. uh, under our labor code, you're only entitled, or basically what's mandatory is the service incentive leave. So if the employer only provides a service incentive leave, the generic, and it's not labeled as sick leaves, then you can automatically go yes, to SSS yes, if yes. you're sick and absent. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the disability benefit. So sometimes if the sickness uh, continues for mm -hmm. more than 120 days, then uh, he is entitled to uh, disability so benefit. It's, it's either like partial. One third, one third of the year. Yeah, year it's either basically. partial or permanent. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the maternity benefit if mm -hmm. uh, this is for uh, female uh, members of members uh, up to uh, for miscarriage deliveries or uh, uh, yeah, uh, is, is the deliveries. price for cesarean higher than normal delivery uh, actually we give longer longer because if normal we give 60 days but mm -hmm. if, this cesar worth of the pay. if the CS uh, section it's 78 days mm -hmm. so it's longer because mm -hmm. uh, the, the rationale is that it's it is longer to for a CS uh, to mm -hmm. heal. Mm -hmm. And Attorney Dory, before we move on to the next benefit, my question is, if you have an employer that already provides for maternity benefit, can you get both benefits from your employer and also from SSS? Uh, or do they exclude each other? I, I think they, they exclude each other because uh, the, the, the purpose of actually all the payment of benefit is it is a parang substitute for the loss of the, the loss. income so that you can't claim during. you can't claim twice yeah. that, 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 unless okay. unless uh, you are uh, at, unless it is under the Magna Carta of Women mm -hmm. okay. because under the Magna Carta of Women uh, benefits are given to women on gynecological problems so mm -hmm. they can also, they can also so claim double double actually double recovery mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. let's talk, let's talk about the man yung okay. You you Ako, enumerated seven benefits. I'm interested in one yeah. more benefit. Yeah, one more benefit. I think. Uh, what okay. about those who experience calamities? Uh, what actually, type of benefits can they get from SSS? Kung uh, na typhoon ka, uh, nagbinagyo. Actually, it's not really. It's not standard. It's not, standard. Uh, it's not really benefit. It's mm -hmm. just a loan. So it allows you to allows you to, to get available. A loan. Available but I guess that's still SSA. a benefit to the extent yeah. that you are, have access to this if you become a member of SSS. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, we can. Yeah. We can now, there's also death and, and funeral as well. Uh, funeral, it, uh, funeral of twenty thousand pesos, given to those who help defray the cost of. The funeral or the funeral services. Given to those who help the frame. Oh, oh. It's not oh, okay. really actually to the to the wife or mm. the relatives of the member, but to those who help the frame. So mm. okay. if it is the employer who paid for the funeral services, then the payment will go to the... All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there is the death, of course, upon the death of the member. It goes to the beneficiaries, to the, beneficiaries. To the family. It goes to the uh, family. And then the retirement. Okay. okay. Now let's let's talk about membership. Uh, how does one become a member? Because we all know that if you are employed, 
in the private sector. It's required. It's required. Mandatory. So tell us, yeah, employees, tell us right? the two. I mean, the several ways. If there are several ways to be a member. Yeah. First is if you are employed. So upon upon employment, your employer is required to report you to SSS within okay. one month. Within one month. Within one month, you yeah. have the employees has uh, within one month to report the member to the SSS, and then there are also those who are self-employed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like the actors, actors yeah. artists, uh, artists or even the or even cigarette vendors, vendors. Cigarette vendors lawyers, yeah, yeah. for instance, or uh, doctors. Lawyers, yes. Yeah. Uh, and even the cigarette vendors. No? Then all they have to do is apply, mm -hmm. file, uh, fill up a form, which is we call the SSS form R1, R1. RS1. Is RS1. Is that available and online then, now? Yeah, okay. yeah so our, our documents are available online. They mm -hmm. can fill it up and mm -hmm. in fact, they can also print it out. And then uh, for the voluntary members, mm -hmm. these are members who used to be employed or who used to be self-employed and uh, wants to continue paying uh, contributions to SSS so that they can avail of the full benefit of SSS. Uh, they may pay on a voluntary basis basis. Uh, we call them the voluntary members. Okay. And included in the voluntary members are the OFWs. Mm. Oh, right. or okay. OFWs. So even if I've, an OFW is employed abroad by an employer, those foreign employers are not required to yeah. mandatorily include them in the yeah. SSS. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there's still more to discuss and uh, we'll get back to that. And thank you so much, so far for helping us, Attorney Dory. Legal Help Desk will return after these messages. We're still watching Legal Help Desk on 9TV with our guest, Attorney Dorenda Dasmarinas. And uh, of course, Kanina, we were talking about employers required or mandatorily required to register employees at SSS. And I'd like to remind our viewers that this includes kasambahay. So for those who have kasambahays, you have to cover them also sa SSS. And right now, I think we have a caller on the line. Hello? Hi, Paul. Good evening. Yes, hi, Gina. Yes, Paul. Yes, Gina, good evening. What's your question? Yes, po. Um, question ko lang po, uh, kasi po I had a miscarriage nung September 3. And I'm, I am a continuous contributor naman po sa SSS since 2000. And nag-file na po ako ng MAT1 and MAT2 documents through my employer second week pa po ng September. And then I checked with SSS by second week of October, uh, wala daw pong documents na finile under my name. So I confirmed it with my employer and I even asked them, kasi po nakalagay doon sa MAT2 na ina-advance po dapat daw ito ng employer. Mm -hmm. So to sum it up, uh, hanggang ngayon po, hindi ko pa rin po nakukuha yung maternity benefit ko. And ang question ko lang po is, obligatory po ba na ina-advance ni employer? yung uh, benefit, uh, maternity benefit sa empleyado. Yes. All right, uh, Attorney Dory. Yeah. yeah, actually, that's the normal procedure. Ano, mm -hmm. na the employer advances the, the maternity benefit to the member and then it's the employer who asks from SSS for a reimbursement. Okay. Actually, uh, there are instances where it's really very, very hard to... Uh, Require sometimes yeah. you mean the employer I mean, does, does not voluntary. Not, you're does talking about the implementation, the actual implementation. enforcement. So what can, enforce. for instance, Gina? Obviously, she's being deprived of uh, the advance by the employer. What can she do to get access to the? To the Actually, she can she can go to uh, SSS, any branch uh, near her, and then ask for assistance from the SSS because mm -hmm. we we have uh, SSS. In, uh, employees, we call them the accounts officers, who go to these uh, Employer. employers and require these employers to advance or to mm -hmm. give the benefit to the... Yeah. And, and, um, and what kind of enforcement, ma'am? Uh, how do you, for example, if someone does come uh, and uh, to, to your help desk, for example, and, and do you, what, what kind of, I guess, penalties can you provide the employer if, uh, just to enforce uh, the, the right, no? 
uh, uh, to get an advanced uh, maternity benefit? Actually, uh, these employers, we call them violation of the SS law. So uh, if they, are, they violate the SS law, then we file cases against them. Uh, uh, but, it, but we provide them with uh, chances, naman. Period, chances uh, my man. But uh, in this case, Gina does not have to bring a lawyer. Is it easy to file uh, a complaint? Of course, of course. Not. Okay. No need, no need. So Gina, uh, you can go to In fact, you can, yeah, you can come to our office yeah. of oh, the can, uh, corporate legal attorney, department. <laughs> look for attorney Doreen. No. <laughs> <laughs> the, attorney Das Marinas, yes. So. Uh, SSS, uh, Kubao Kuba or Samain? Uh, Samain, so fourth floor. Okay. okay, now we're flashing then Gina's right, yeah. screen namin. Yeah. The different, one, you have the website, the call center, the trunk line, mm -hmm. tsaka yung office ng, ng yes, SSS. Kasi po ang nilarason po ni employer sa akin is uh, um, marami daw hinihingi and first time lang daw po nila na-experience yung miscarriage. Kaya, I don't know, parang hindi na po ako naniniwala sa kanila eh. Oh. And I think that's irrelevant, mm. diba? Na mara, oh, assuming marami requirements. Marami requirements. Oh. That's still yeah, their job. Yeah, because oh. uh, there must also be some documentation to prove that indeed he had miscarriage, like hospital records. Uh, pero, uh, it should not be the reason why uh, you will mm. not be given your uh, maternity benefit. Okay. All right. Sige. Oh. We, hope okay. you, we helped you answer yeah. your question, Yeah, Gina, Gina. I hope you're... Yes, oh. you did. File that complaint. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, so um, Mark has a question for us. Uh, let's watch this. Ano mga beneficiary na binibigay na SSS sa mga member nito? Okay. Kanina, we covered some of yeah. the benefits. Yeah. So, Have we left out anything? Uh, no, but maybe we can dis discuss yung any requirements. How much contribution should they have made uh, for each of those benefits? Iba iba bang rules? Uh, iba iba. Uh, iba iba. Hmm. For example, sa. Retirement. Uh, ma, Let's start ma, with retirement. Retirement. Hmm. So you need to have a minimum of 120 contributions. So it's 10 years? Uh, yeah, ten more years or less uh, uh, 10 years. And then, in order for you to avail of that benefit, you must already be 60 years old and no longer employed or self-employed. No so you are no longer in, uh, earning income. Mm -hmm. uh, that's 120 contributions minimum. But if you are still uh, earning income, the mandatory retirement is at 65. Whether whether you are inco uh, earning income or not, mm -hmm. then you are mandatorily required na, or yeah. you are mandatorily re retired na. Mm -hmm. So you can you can have your pension. Attorney Doreen, what about for instance, yung sick leave? If you are sick and uh, you are unable to work, how much would the benefits be? Does it depend on how much contributions you also pay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with regard to sickness, uh, it's more of a medical issue, and they have these uh, schedules, schedule. the schedules of okay. how much uh, are they going to pay for. Uh, mm. But I think it's, it's not dependent uh, on yeah. your salary. It, it, it is also dependent your on your on the number of contributions that you paid, uh, on the amount that you paid. Mm -hmm. But the minimum requirement is that three contributions within the last. Meron pa kaming ganun, ano? Within, the Within the last 12 years prior to the semester of sickness. Ah, okay. So, Fine. magbibilang ng uh, backward. Now, going back to your retirement, the, the retirement uh, benefit, no? you said that he or she should have contributed 120 20 contributions. Uh, now, Minimum. did this have to be uh, consecutive? What if he or she missed out uh, a few months there? Uh, is that is it still possible to yeah, claim? It is still possible to, to claim. Okay, so uh, not, provided not that na he has accumulated 120 20 contributions. Oh, right. okay. 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 We have another question, and this is from Linda. Ready you bang mag apply ng loan ang mga retired na member ng SS? And loan. Okay. Uh, Unfortunately, no. No, okay. No. Only okay. for so those who are clean. currently paying mm. their But uh, I understand you you provide an 18-month advance for new pensioners, right? Is that is that the case? Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you offer them kind of uh, an advance. Advanced of pension. Advanced, advanced pension. pension for 18 months. So if you receive the pension in lump uh, uh, for 18 months, uh, then for 18 months, you're not going to receive, receive anything. After 18 months, then you... Is there, the is there my interest by one? Is that adva is that advanced discounted? Uh, my or? discounted. It's it is discounted. Dis discounted. Uh, meaning okay. you get less than what you, you get yeah. less than what you entitled. Oh. Parang na advance mo na kasi. Uh -oh. okay. okay. All right. So so basically, you don't give out loans for for, for non-member. I mean, retired. for retirees. Mm -mm. But 
upon is, upon upon the time that you become a retiree, you you offer that eighteen. In a way, it's like in a advance. loan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like an, and it's if, like if, a loan. but if you're also retired from your work because you're already sixty, but you intend to continue to be a member, can you continue paying? Yes, contributions? you can. You can still uh, continue paying as a voluntary member. Mm, all right. Okay. So our next question is from Harry. Uh, and his question is, I'm planning to file an early retirement from my company. I'm 51 years old, wow, aga, and I receive a salary of 20,000 pesos. If I reach the age of 60, how much will my pension be then? Ako, medyo may, may table siguro to, no, may, mm -hmm. Can you answer more <laughs> how much pension Or at least, may, maybe estimate lang, uh, not, you don't have to give the Actually, exact kasi amount. The, the pension kasi depends on the number of contributions that you have. Mm -hmm. uh, 120 is just minimum. Minimum. Uh, you can, uh, I think there so, are members who have paid for almost uh, 40 years. Yeah. So it depends. And then uh, it depends on the amount mm -hmm. of your contribution. Mm -hmm. But uh, the computation is that uh, I think uh, there is a basic 300 pesos. Mm -hmm. And then so much percent of the average monthly salary credit or okay. it, this is the this is the average of the last 60 months 60 of your months contributions okay. Okay. and then so much percentage for the number of years that you have uh, contributed okay. uh, or 40% of the average monthly uh, pension but whichever is higher okay. whichever is higher okay but uh, meron kaming minimum of 1,200 mm -hmm. for so, those who have contributed more than 10 years. Okay, uh, so the, I guess the short years. message there is that make sure that you pay mm. your contributions mm. monthly because uh, it really affects how much you get. We're, we're flashing and the we're flashing uh, here the uh, an estimate, no? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. But obviously, pagka, if you pay more and you're religious in paying, then you'll end up getting more as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. That's why we encourage the members, really the members, even the voluntary and the self-employed members to really continue, and make an effort to pay your monthly contribution. to monitor, no? To yeah, monitor, to monitor uh, because record. Uh, uh, you will get benefit not only for retirement, but for sickness and yeah. uh, maternity or, leaves, or yeah. disability. Yeah, so these are short-term benefits that we call. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it, it, it helps to helps. monitor and okay. pay, right? Mm -hmm. We have another question from Alexander. I'm 38 years old and I have been working for more than 15 years. My total contribution to SSS is more than 200,000 pesos. Can I withdraw my lump sum contribution to SSS to pay for my existing housing loan to Pag-ibig? Is that how mm -hmm. it works? Yung total no, I <laughs> mo, no? Sa ibang no unfortunately, uh -oh. unfortunately, you cannot withdraw uh, your mm -hmm. contribution prior to, to retirement. So actually, mm -hmm. Actually, it's not really a withdrawal of uh, pe uh, contribution, but more of a pension after you retire. But before uh, retirement, we do not allow withdrawal of mm. uh, contributions. But he can take a loan, right? But he can take a loan. Oh, and, and is that possible? He can take a loan from SSS and then use it to pay his loan in Pagibig. Or kailangan business loan or housing loan. Mm. Or uh, the, the loan that uh, is available to the members is the... Uh, Salary loan. Salary, salary loan. loan. Okay. Mm. Salary. So based on his salary, he can take out he can take out a loan. Right. And so can, actually, not 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 ano, not the whole uh, salary because if yes. he earns one hundred thousand or fifty thousand, he can only uh, avail of because uh, in SSS, ang contribution namin is only up to sixteen thousand of your uh, salary. 16, we deduct SS contributions up to 16,000 16, only of your salary. Mm -hmm. So even if you're earning uh, uh, 50,000 yeah. or 100,000, mm -hmm. up to 16,000 16, lang. Okay. Okay. So yun lang din yung magiging available. Uh, yeah, so basically. yun lang din yan. Okay, pero well, siguro it's time for us naman din to plug na we have this uh, program called the Peso Fund. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, this has already been launched, but uh, it's not yet operational, probably uh, next first quarter of next year. This is on a voluntary basis. They can contribute to the SSS kind of an and investment? then like an, investment. Yeah, like an investment and then okay. they can withdraw 35% of that. They can withdraw for medical and educational uh, Lo loan. benefit. No, not, not, uh, loan. not loan, but mm -hmm. it's their money. They can withdraw but it. What, what okay. interest is, is it earning? Uh, it's it's a higher interest. A higher interest. Uh, a higher interest. Uh, we guarantee that it's higher than the, or the ordinary 
bank savings in the bank. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah. thank you for okay. that, Attorney Doreen. We'll okay. talk more about other products uh, in offered <laughs> by SSS and answer more questions after our break. The Legal Help Desk will return, so stay tuned. If you are self-employed or separated from your previous employment or run your own business, having an SSS membership can be beneficial to you and your family as it provides financial aid should you need to avail of your benefits such as sickness, maternity, and disability benefits. Having an SSS membership will also be beneficial should you retire or pass away as these will ensure the future of your family in the long run. For those who are self-employed and earning at least 1,000 pesos, you will need to submit a completed SS Form RS1 with the original certified true copy or a photocopy of any of the following valid IDs. Birth certificate, passport, baptismal certificate, driver's license, DRC card, or Seaman's book. And an original copy or photocopy proof of your source of income that can be in the form of the following. Business permit, DTI registration, PRC license, receipts of commissions from sales, barangay certification of source of income, receipts of payments for online work, printout of web page showing payments for online work, or vehicle registration and franchise papers. You will then receive a copy of your RS1 form, approved and stamped by the SSS, and can now start paying your contributions. For those who have separated or have stopped working for their previous employers, but should still like to continue paying your contributions, You'll first need to submit SS Form RS5 using the previously assigned SS number before making any payment. By posting the said payment, your membership status will change from covered employee to a voluntary paying member. Always remember to pay your SSS contributions monthly or quarterly. Register with my.sss at the SSS website if you have provided at least one month's contribution. Be aware of changes and improvements in the SSS policies and benefit structure to fully utilize your benefits. You're still tuned in to Legal Help Desk on 9TV with our guest, Attorney Dorenda Dasmariñas. And we have another caller on the line, Ms. Marites of Pangasinan. Hello, Ms. Marites. Hello, good evening, ma'am. Yes, good evening, evening ma'am. Yes, uh, Marites, Hello, what, is your, yeah, what is your question? Yeah, how do we help you? Um, sir, Ang question ko po, eh, bali, ilang months po ang hihintayin for the recomputation of monthly pension? Ilang ilang months um, ang hihintayin to, for the recomp recomputation of the monthly pension? Did we get you correctly? Yes, sir. Uh, so, uh -oh. Uh, I'm, attorney attorney. I, I think we also have to ask her why she is asking for a recomputation uh -oh. of the monthly pension. Uh -oh. Maritas, bakit daw kailangan ng recomputation? Bali po, um, may request po for manual verification. Hindi po naisama yung 1980 to 1990 na um, na contributions ng father ko, ma'am. Ah, pwede ba yun? From the father to... Ah, pero Marites, we're talking about yung, yung SSS ng father mo or sa'yo? Sa father ko po. Bali, okay. nagpe-pension na po siya ngayon. Yung unang pension niya po, hindi po naisama yung 1980 to 1990 na contribution yeah. niya, ma'am. Okay. So, so, actually, I cannot answer really how uh, long will it take. Ano, it depends on the situation. But so siguro, siguro pagsagaan lang how, niyang i-follow up. Do, how does she expedite the, how does uh, Marites expedite the, the recomputation? I-follow up na lang siguro niya uh -oh. sa, uh -oh. sa branch. Will it help kung may mga dokumento na hawak uh -oh. yung father ni Marites na sa kanila para matulungan yung pag-compute? Kasi ang, ang what is tricky is the, the manual verification because we have to dig into uh, the records the of records. the SSS. Uh, so, yeah. we really have to verify kung meron ba talagang hulog for that period. Mm -hmm. Kaya siguro niya... Yeah. Yes, Marites? Hello po. Yeah. Actually, ma'am, kompleto po siya. Bali, nakakuha ng certification galing sa previous employer niya. 
meron po yung 1980 to 1990. Ayan po, sabi naman po ng SSS or Daneta branch, talagang matagal daw po siya. Kaya lang po, kung ilang months, talaga abutin yung Mm. Ma- makakatulong ba? Verification na yun, ma'am. Makakatulong ba kung pupunta sila sa ma- ma- main office or or ordinary uh, lang, ordinary sa pagkain? Ordinary na lang, lang because uh, mamamasahi pa sila mahal mm. din. Uh, anyway, uh, in close contacts naman yung mga branches natin with the uh, with the main office if the record is in the main office, oh. no? Mm-hmm. Uh, siguro pag tiyaga-tiyagaan mo lang antayin uh, Marites and then oh. ano lang siguro follow up lang pag tiyagaan mo lang. Kasi 1982 mm-hmm. pa yan, eh, di ba? So oh, 1982. Kasi we really have to automate ano, at that time. Right. Pero kung sakaling mm-hmm. palagay nila ay mabagal talaga kumilos yung sa Pangasinan, can may, they go and complain to may, the yeah, main office? May help, help desk ba? May help mm-hmm. desk or let's say hotline? That they we, can, have, we have a hotline. Uh, uh, we have a hotline. Uh, maybe you can mention the hotline now, ma'am, if you're... Uh, you can memorize it. I'm not... Yeah, we flashed it flash on the screen earlier, kanina. Yeah. Ayan, we're flashing it now on the screen, Marites. Uh-oh. 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 Pag, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pwede mong tawagan yung hotline pag palagay mo talagang sobrang bagal na at yeah. hindi lang nila naasikaso na maayos. Uh-oh. Okay, but so hopefully we were able to help you. Uh, ano, yes, sir. Uh, ano yes. na lang siguro. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes. They, they can also uh, call us at the fourth floor legal department or our media right. affairs department, uh, which is ever ready or willing to help uh, members. Right. Okay. Okay. Sige. All right. Marites, you can also call them. Sila yes. attorney. Sila yes. attorney Marine. Marine. Yes. Yeah, this Marine. Yes. Ayan. All right. On the line now, we have uh, Mill of Marikina. Mill, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, Mel. Uh, yes, uh, how can we help you? Hello. Hello, yes. yes. Uh, Hi, Mel. We can hear you. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, um, tatanong ko lang po regarding dun sa department order number 112A, okay. yung Magna Carta for women, or all okay. women. Okay. Kasi this coming January, I might um, undergo surgery. Meron po akong tatanggalin na... Uh, sa uterus ko. Now, I talked to our company uh, earlier and discussed about this uh, department order. Ngayon, on Section 7, it says here, yung, yung p- partnership ng SSS and the, the SBL, kasi it's different. It's two different things. However, when we called Dolly earlier, ang sabi po sa amin, ma'am, ang kalakaran po is either the company pays and then yung SSS hindi na. And in some other cases, sa ibang branches daw po, nade-deny yung iba. Because, because, so na mer- mer- because nakakuha na kayo from your employer, is that correct? Yes, oo, uh, yes. Pero, we were so, I, I'm, I'm just thinking na ang klaro-klaro, lalo na tong amendment number, uh, in 2012, this department order was amended and very clear na dito yung uh, SSS contribution is very is different from the SBL. So, ano pong i-expect ko after I uh, go through the surgery? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. very impressed with Mil. Talaga yeah, nag-research really siya. She oh, really good researched. job, Mil. But mm. uh, what do you think, Attorney Doreen? Actually, as I have mentioned earlier, uh, the benefit under the Magna Carta of Women is different from the benefit under the SSS. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, ju- during the initial implementation of the law, there was some confusion, confusion. because uh, actually, uh, siguro kaya nagkaganon. So, But uh, as of now, ang alam ko is that uh, even if you receive the benefit from your employer for that uh, uh, problem, ano? Uh, you can also receive the sickness or whatever, uh, or the disability, if it is the disability Under benefit the from the SSS. So mm. there are two different... Uh, okay. So separate benefits. Separate yeah. benefits. So, so in this case, Mel can really claim for her surgery. But and it, then from apart from that, yung sa disability yeah. naman. Yung sa ano niya, from the employer, mm-hmm. uh, benefit from the employer, and then different benefit from SSS. Mm-hmm. Okay. In this case, depende sa days na incapacitated siya to work. It's either sick leave benefits or yung disability benefits. Uh, okay. So, Mil, uh, ma- ma'am, can Mil go to the office to get some kind of, let's say, is there a ruling that SSS legal can provide for oh, para guidance? Para naman oh. sa employer niya, hindi oh, rin siya ma- ma-reject na, oh. oy, covered ka na ng SSS, oh, to, avoid, diba? to avoid nga the confusion. Mm-hmm. Siguro, uh, punta na lang muna siya sa branch na malapit sa kanya. Because uh, our bra- alam naman ng mga branches na namin yan, 
Al- alam daw may alam daw ng mga branches ng SS, uh, SSS about Uh-oh. this rule, no? So mm-hmm. you 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 I guess what the good news now is that now that you've spoken to one of the top lawyers ng SSS, you can you can say now you've watched legal help uh, legal help desk and and can <laughs> and, confirm uh, sorry, now it's yes. uh, this and is our, two, two our episodes are available online in case yes. ayon maniwala they can rewatch Uh-oh. the episode and uh, hear <laughs> yes. the advice Uh-oh. of Attorney Dory. Okay. Thank you. All Sige. right. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, you Mel. Good luck. Good All luck right. with your surgery. All right. We still have a couple more questions from our viewers from Mar. I am a member of SSS for 45 months since I started working for my previous employer. I now run a business and have stopped contributing to my SSS. Can I ask for a refund or can I get all of the money that was deposited on my SSS account? I believe I'm entitled to it since it's my money and I need it as additional funding for my business. Yeah, mm-hmm. Money ba nila yan? Kinotribute oh, nila sa yeah, SSS? Yeah, it's their money it's but their money. Uh, they cannot just uh, ask for it, it, it or uh, refund. Uh, in fact, I encourage him to continue paying, paying the contributions up. because he said that he is uh, currently having a business. So mm-hmm. he can be a member, a self-employed uh, member. So mm-hmm. he can continue paying his contributions so that by the time he is 60 or 65 years old, then he'll get Enjoy higher. higher but in people. this case, uh, yeah. if yeah. he needs the money for his business, like he mentioned, he can just take a loan from SSS, yeah. correct? Yeah, he can take a loan, okay. yeah. And so, also, um, just as a question, the money na yon, assuming the decision niya talaga is, no, I want my money back, is that possible? No, it's no. not okay. So, kasi there, there may, uh, just to clarify, no, uh, I think your contributions doesn't make you a stockholder of mm-hmm. SSS. Or this is not like you, a bank, oh, it's na, like parang a bank deposit, na deposit yung contributions. Mo, no? oh, it's it's, a, it's actually membership. going, so, para siyang premium payment sa insurance, yes, diba? Oh, na hindi correct. mo naman pwedeng bawiin. Mm. It's really like, it's you're such, paying it's for like the a premium coverage. payment, and you are entitled to certain benefits mm-hmm. because of the premium payment. Okay, right. interesting. And uh, dami yes. talagang questions. Thank you so much, Attorney Doreen, okay. for helping us answer this. Legal help desk will return after the short break. Welcome back to Legal Help Desk on 9TV with our guest, Attorney Dorenda Dasmarinas. And now we have another caller on the line, Ronald of Novaliches. Ronald? Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, this is uh, a question and also a suggestion maybe. Sure. Uh, mark, may marketing scheme po ba ang SSS? Halimbawa, a lump sum investment. Lump sum investment? Lump sum investment, right? For, for example, po, uh, Kukumplitoy na ng member yung 10-year na requirement for having a monthly pension when reaching the retirement age of 60. So you're asking if you can invest in the SSS? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you yeah. mean, kunwari, yeah. ano, uh, you mean, kung hindi ka pa aabot sa 120, tama ba? 120 contributions? One, yes, are you so, asking na parang kung pwedeng magbigay ka na lang ng bulk, bulk sum yes, payment? Yes, kukumplitoy ko yung 10 years. Oh. Yeah, is, is that possible, possible? Uh, to to I Parang guess what is asking? Track mo, oh, oh, yeah. because hindi ka nagko contribute before, pero malapit ka na magretire, so bigla mo na lang ibibigay yung lump sum na required to qualify. Uh, yes, tama Ronald. ba, Ronald? Sorry, Ronald. Ako tama po. Oh, and ang mga benefit po nito yung mga the usual uh, nagard po ng more than the usual. For example, uh, athlete, celebrities. Uh, yeah. Entrepreneur. Yes. Mukha- you so, uh, so you're saying uh, you have extra funds, you want to give a lump sum to SSS so that you can avail of more benefits to SSS, is that correct? E, aside from that, uh, para secure na rin yung pagtanda. Secure. I, I, say, I, think, I, I think they have the impression that they can invest it and later on pull it out. Is that possible that they can uh, under invest? The current, under the current system, uh, no, they cannot just pull it out. But uh, if he wants to go uh, become a member, pay in lump, mm-hmm. then uh, he can, but he has to wait until such time na pwede na siyang mag-retire. Mm-hmm. So, pwede niyang bayaran. Halimbawa, he is 55 years old. And then, gusto ko nang bayaran up to 60 years old ako. So, bigay ako ng lump. 
Uh, after six... Uh, Pag nag-16 na siya, he can start niya. getting the oh, benefits. So si uh -huh. Tama ba yung na-answer namin, uh, uh -huh. Tama Ronald? Ba ba namin? Hindi po. Hindi ang um, concept po ay hindi pwedeng i-pull out. Mm -hmm. uh, Iintayin po yung uh, retirement age na 16. Uh -huh. And then saka lang po siya... Uh -huh. Yes, saka, yeah. saka mo lang uh -huh. ma-avail. Ma and attorney so, Dorian here is explaining na pwede naman, pwede mong i-lump some payment to qualify up to, for instance, kung 55 ka nga, up to the age of 60, bale, bayad mo na yung contributions mo. But in terms of enjoying the, the benefits. Oh. retirement benefits, it will start kicking in when you hit 60. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Kaya lang, as I have mentioned earlier, we have this peso fund. fund yeah. We have this peso fund. Okay. But Next. it is required that if you are a self-employed member or a, a voluntary member, you must first pay your basic SS contribution okay. up to the maximum before you can contribute to the PESO fund. Uh, okay. So, if you are now, the maximum contribution now is 1,760. Per, per month. Per month. So, you have to pay 1,760 per month and you, if you have extra money, then you can contribute to the, to the PESO, PESO fund. fund. The minimum contribution is 1,000 and the maximum is 100,000 every year. Every for year. Every year. Oh, okay. Okay. And you can you can avail of 30% of uh -oh. that, right? As, is that, as, is that, as, as uh, uh, for, uh, there is a retention of five years, but actually you can withdraw it before five years, siguro, pero may mga penalties so na. So you can withdraw so, the penalties. Can withdraw Ronald, it. that's also an option for you. An option. Kung, if you can afford na babayaran mo yung minimum na SSS contribution per month na 1,760, and then, any excess money that you can give, pwede mo ilagay dun sa peso, peso fund. fund. Mm -hmm. Up to 100,000 mm -hmm. pesos. Okay. Hope we Does were that able help? to, uh, yeah, hope we were able to address your question, Ronald. Yes, sir. All right. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thanks for calling. All right. Our next question is from Enrico. My parents are legally married, but my father abandoned us in 2001 for a third party. We didn't know the whereabouts of my father, and an aunt told us that according to the mistress, he died sometime in 2010. We are the listed beneficiaries of his SSS, but we don't have a copy of his death certificate. How can we get this document to claim the benefits? Is there another legal option we can practice to claim the benefits from SSS? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, so in that, this case, hindi sila sure kung patay na. Yeah, sure, right? sure, sure. But, well, uh, okay, but I mean, wala silang death certificate uh, and... Uh, uh, wala silang copy of the death, mm -hmm. death certificate. Actually, uh, the death certificate is the basic document mm -hmm. for, it's the, for the... Uh, payment of death benefit so maybe he can ask uh, when his father died and yeah. then get a copy In 2010, of, the no death, 2010. Uh, of the death certificate from the national statistics office or the nso mm -hmm. and before he goes to the SSS, because it's a basic, basic document. So in this case, unfortunately, there's no way to go around that requirement. You really have yeah. to get the death certificate. Mm -hmm. Union document, you know, Yes. All right. We have okay. another question from Abby. Uh, I am a victim of a bigamous marriage. I did not know that my husband was married to another prior to ours. When I listed him as a beneficiary of my SSS, can I change my SSS beneficiary and declare my two children as my only beneficiaries? Since it's a bigamous marriage, do I have to file for an annulment before I can do any changes to my SSS account? Mm -hmm. Interesting, yeah. Um, oh, so, uh, oh, oh. She's still legally married, even yeah. if it was a bigamous marriage. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, beneficiary. the beneficiary, we require really the declaration the, the of the uh, 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 But it does not follow naman na if he cannot provide that, uh, she cannot provide that document, uh, then automatically, husband pa rin niya ang magiging beneficiary. We will know, SSS will know who is the rightful beneficiary. Uh, when, when the, kung mamatay na siya, and then mm. the, the children files for the death benefit, the children can just say na, uh, we are abandoned or our our mother is uh, the second wife and then the SSS will investigate okay. so it does not end there mm -hmm. uh, even if he cannot or she cannot uh, provide us with a declaration of nullity declaration of nullity it does not also follow na magiging beneficiary yung husband niya we will we will we will investigate okay that's okay. good to know kasi yeah. baka may mangyari sa kanya oh, yeah oh, oh. Oh, oh. Say, oh. yeah well now we have another caller on the line miss marikit Hello, Ms. Marikit, are you there? 
Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening po. What's your question? Ito po, naku, four years ko na po itong pinoproblema. Nag-loan po yung husband ko nung 1983 and 1985. Total po siya ng less than 3,000. Nag-close po yung company nila nung 2005. Lagi po naman ako nag-i-inquire sa SSS sub office dito po sa Bataan. Eh, wala naman daw pong lumalabas na record sa computer nila. Tapos, nagbigay po ng combination nung 2009. January 2000, 2010, nakatanggap po ako ng first billing nila sa akin. Amounting to more than 30,000. Oh. Tama ba yung amount? Tama ba yung amount? Ganun talaga yung loan. Hindi, yung, yung loan is only 3,000. Nagbalong, 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 Pinagbayad ako ng manager namin pagkatapos hindi naman pala ano yung combination. Bakit po? Ganun? Binayad mo yung principal. Is that correct? Binayad mo mm -hmm. yung principal? Ang principal niya sa high interest is 7,925. Yung FT po yung 22,284. Mm -hmm. so, oh, paano ito, Attorney Doreen? Kasi 1980, tama ba yung pagkarinig ko noong 1983 pa yung loan? Maganda siguro, ano na lang, yung tingnan natin ang record niya. Uh, I cannot uh, answer her question kasi depende kung when he, when she filed for condemnation. Mm -hmm. I really cannot And understand her answer. And it's true na kung, kunwari, um, kung hindi Ay, pa effective yung regulation that allows for condemnation nung time na nag-apply siya for condemnation, yeah. Parang hindi nangyan, mabubura ano yung penalties hindi. Uh, or kasi sa Para. sa loan uh, mm -hmm. as as any any loan ano when you pay the your payment goes to the penalty first yeah. mm -hmm. then to the interest before the principal so maybe maybe hindi umabot sa cut off hindi mm -hmm. natin alam kaya siguro maganda have, na lang we have to check her record sa legal marikit ay iwan na lang siya ng record punta siya ay, ng, sa pinakamalapit mm -hmm. na SSS mm -hmm. office sa kanila ah. Excuse me po, ma'am. Ang malaking, ano po lang. Hello? Ah, ma'am. Ang hinahabol ko po kasi dito, pinagbayad po ako ng SSS manager namin. Yan po yung malaking question, bakit niya ako pinagbayad kung hindi pa pala effective yung implementation ng condonation? Eh, naging SSS branch manager pa siya, tapos... Gano'n naman. Sa ganun ba, may appeal process ba? Let's say, may appeal process ba sila? Can she go to the main office and ask for... Meron ba ang record dyan na... Marikit, is that correct? May record ba yung payment mo before? May record ka ba ng payment? May record ka ba? May mga resibo ka? Yes, ito po ako. Actually po, nung Friday... Hello? Ay, hindi ko po naririnig dito sa phone. Okay. May mga records ko ba? May mga resibo. Noong Friday. Noong Friday, lumapit na po po. Lumapit na po ako sa TV5. Hello? Saan? TV5. TV5? Oo. Okay. Tapos yun, wala ko pinapansin na doon sa office. Okay. Ano bang... Eh kasi po, hindi na nga po nila po halos pansinin kasi po... Ah, pinangahawakan po nila yun daw yung, uh, yung kanila daw pong policy na gano'n nga, hindi pa daw in effective implementation. Ang inilalabang ko naman po, ito po, hawak-hawak ko po yung written instruction po ay, ng aming ay, dati dito yung uh, branch manager na si Normita Cruz. Hawak ko po yung written instruction yeah. po niya. Siguro, ito po, ang, oh. ang importante dyan, Marikit, kung nakasulat ba sa written instruction yeah. na pay oh, oh, oh. and then it will be condoned. Oo. Baka sign to po, ma'am. Oo. Well, tignan mo na lang siguro, Marikit, kung meron dyan specifically nakasulat na 
pag binayaran mo ay may condonation. Yun ang importante. Oo, kahit na hindi mo nabasahin bu yung buong letter sa amin, but I think kailangan pakita na lang, oo, siguro kung gusto niya, Uh, although malayo-layo siya, no? sana makapunta nila lang siya sa main office siguro para titingnan natin yung mga records niya. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, baka baka si pwede namin siyang matulungan sa office. Mm -mm. Kasi dito mukhang mahirap eh, kasi kailangan natin titingnan yung kanyang record. Mm -mm. Oh, Marik oh. Marikit, Marikit, I think we can't, we, we can't handle your case, yung buong case. Obviously, oh, uh, eh, we have to go to kulang time, kulang oras, can, no? but oh, oh. the best way is to maybe uh, set an appointment with uh, Attorney Dasmarinas Yes. Kasi, uh, of course, she, she, she can probably personally study your, your case and matignan yung records nga. No? Kung meron ka namang proof na sinabi ng SSS branch manager yon then I don't see any reason why SS, SSS cannot, cannot help you. Alright? Mm -hmm. Ah, kailan mo po pwede mapuntahan si Mag Seattle mm -hmm. last month? Sa, nasa fourth floor po ako ng main office sa uh, East Avenue, SSS East Avenue. Yes. Fourth floor, Corporate Legal Department. Ayan. Mm -mm. Attorney Dasmarinas, Marikit. Okay? Yeah. Alright. Ayun na, pwede mo pumunta, ma'am. Ano ba na lang? Yeah. Oh. Siguro, uh -huh. tumaw, tumaw ka na lang yes. sa hotline and maybe have yourself connected kay Attorney Dasmarinas. Uh -huh. And dito, we're flashing the numbers ulit. Ayan. Oh, okay. Thank Ayan you, yung, Marikit. Good luck. Good luck, uh, Marikit. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh -huh. Alright. We have another caller, Eduardo of Caloacan. Uh, this question is from... I'm sorry. We have another caller? Alright, Eduardo? Okay, hi, hi. Good, hi, good, good evening, Eduardo. Magandang gabi po, sir. Magandang gabi. Magandang gabi sa iyo, okay. Eduardo. Yes, what can okay. we do for you? Uh, itatanong ko po, sir, kasi po, nung pong nagtatrabaho ko sa Hitachi, dito po sa Royal, sa EDSA. Right. Opo, sir, hindi ko po kayo madinig, sir. Yes, uh, we're yes. here, we're uh, here. Good evening. Uh, opo, yes. tapos po, Umali, umuwi na po akong province, hindi ko na natapos yung trabaho ko dyan sa electronics niya nung 70s, 80s. Okay. So, gusto ko pong ipagpatuloy yung SS ko. May nagpayo po sa akin na mag, mag ano daw po ako, self-employed. Okay. Tapos po, nung tingnan po yung, yung pong SS, nag-apply po ako, tiningnan po yung record ko, wala daw po akong hulog. Yung mga problema hmm. minsan eh. Wala. Oh, okay, walang, tapos... Walang hulog. Walang, oh, oh. Hindi hinulog ng employer mo noong 1970s, 1980s. Opo, opo, sir. Mm. Opo. Okay. So, gina ginawa po, sabi po sa akin dito sa Metropolitan, dito po sa sa Manila, yung Metropolitan, meron pong SS brands dyan. Yung okay. pong tulay papuntang kaya po. Okay. 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 Sabi po sa akin, mag-apply daw po ako ng self-employed kasi wala na po akong worth eh. Okay. O, oh, ngayon po, Nag-apply po ako nung 1997, binigyan naman po ako na maghulog akong ganitong halaga. Okay. Up to now, nakatapos po ako nito pong ano, naka 10 years po ako, 122 months. Okay. Na finish ko po yung self-employed ko. Uh -huh. Opo, ang tanong ko po, sir, uh, ano po ang magagawa ko? May karapatan na po ba akong tapusin na or maghulog pa po ba ako o pero na pa ba akong Il pension? Ilang, ilang taon ka na? Ilang taon ka na, Eduardo? Ah, uh, 62 na po ako ngayon. Ah, retirement na, oo. Oh, oh. Happy so, birthday ko lang po ng November. Happy birthday. Ay, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, opo, ayan. opo, salamat po. Oh, bir eh, birthday opo. gift namin po yung, yung, yung legal <laughs> advice ni Attorney Das Marinas. <laughs> opo, yes, opo. Oh, pwede na, oh, pwede na po. Kasi 62 years old na kayo, meron na kayong 120 contributions. Kung hindi naman na po kayo nagtatrabaho or wala na kayong pinagkakakitaan, oh, pwedeng pwede na po kayo mag-apply for retirement benefit. Ah, opo. Mm -hmm. eh, ako, Eduardo, sorry, idadagdag ko lang doon sa tanong mo. Opo. Yung nasabi mong dati pang binayaran na 1970s pa at nung tinanong mo ay walang record of it. Is that possible? Para paano niya makukuha ulit yung records niya? Kasi sayang because it will affect kung magkano yung yeah. makuha niyang uh, I do not know if he already went to SSS and verify for his records. Ano? Because... Uh, we, He can ask for manual verification. Mm -mm. Uh, so SSS will again dig, dig into through. its, yeah. uh, oh, oh. its yeah. uh, records and then yeah. uh, check mm -hmm. if he was indeed uh, paid his monthly contribution. If not, uh, he can file, he can, mm -hmm. he can fill up a complaint of a David against the employer, but Baka uh, ako, lang ako ano ang advice ko, if that employer is still around, you can go to him and mm -hmm. ask that uh, you pay your... They pay your contribution, 
Uh, but if the employer will not pay, then he can uh, fill up File a complaint of a David. Oh, yun, Eduardo, subukan mo na rin. So, para hindi naman masayang yung dating contributions nung nagtatrabaho ka pa since the 1970s. Opo, nag nagtrabaho. Hello po, ma'am. Hello. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello po, ma'am. Yes. yes, oo. Oh, nagtrabaho po ako sa Hitachi. Hitachi. Okay. Hitachi Service Center sa Royal. Okay. Opo, okay. panahon pa po ni Marcos. Sige po. <laughs> Opo, oh, sige. tapos. Oh, sige. Tapos po, ma'am. Uh, hindi ko na po hahabulin yung sabi ng SS, wala na raw yung company yun. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, kaya yeah. oh, kaya so itinuloy ko na lang po uh, nag-self-employed. Oh, oh, so di so bali, man. abot ka na, uh, nag-qualify ka na, naabot mo na yung oh, minimum 120 months sa con uh, contribution. Oh, oh. So, pwede ka na. Pwede, pwede ka na mag-apply for it. Pwede ka na. Hey, na isa pa po. Oh. Nagpunta po ako sa SSS Brands. Oh. Ang sabi sa akin, ah, uh, Maghintay pa daw muna ako ng 3 months bago ako makapag-apply ng bin, ano po ng retirement po ba 'yon? Retirement pension fund. Uh, uh, kasi it depends kasi when his uh, 120th contribution. Uh, uh, baka hindi ka uh, pa umabot due. sa 120th. Kasi we have this uh, ano, we have a certain period to observe before he uh, mm -hmm. probably six, uh, 3 to 6 months. Uh, baka normal lang 'yon. Uh, mm -hmm. Hintay hintay mo na lang i-follow up na lang Eduardo, all right? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay oh, po. All Pero right. one, 120 months po ako. Opo. Oh, okay. Kompleto po ako sa resibo lahat. Okay. Alright. Okay. Kompleto po lahat yung resibo. Oo, sige. Congratulations. Salamat. So, happy, po. Happy, happy birthday happy na birthday pag and, uh, uh, makakaselebrate na siya uh, with his uh, pension. Libre, libre mo kami <laughs> sa pension mo, ha? Okay, All right. sir. Kaya okay. 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 Thank you, Gordo. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Okay. That's all the time that we have for tonight. Thank you, Attorney Desmarinas, uh, for being with us tonight. We'd like to thank all our uh, callers who uh, entrusted their cases with us. And I'm Attorney Rodney Pumaseno. And I'm attorney Karen Jimeno. If you have any questions about our topic for tonight, you may post these on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Sulit na sulit ang sulit guesting sulit. sa atin ni attorney Dapat may part 2 tayo. Yes. Uh. Join us again next Monday as we discuss your legal rights. Good night.